How does the Titan Submersible compare to James Cameron's Deep Sea Challenger? Few vehicles can venture into the deep sea. The Submersible, which imploded this week, killing all five on board, used lightweight materials and other features not found in similar craft. For starters, the Titan was built from an unusual material to enable it to dive to places such as the wreck of the Titanic, which is 12,500 feet under the Atlantic. While submersibles such as the US Navy's Alvin, which has also explored the Titanic, use a titanium pressure hull, the Titan is made out of carbon fiber as well as titanium. Just as in aircraft and spacecraft, titanium is used in submersibles because it's both lightweight and strong, but it's also extremely expensive and difficult to work with. That's why the US Navy still builds its nuclear submarines out of steel, though a new Virginia-class attack submarine is estimated to have a maximum depth of perhaps 1,500 feet. The Deep Sea Challenger, made famous by film director and underwater explorer James Cameron, was mostly built with a special syntactic foam, with the crew compartment composed of a steel orb attached to foam beams. Roughly 70% of the vehicle's volume is made up of this foam, which is composed of glass spheres embedded in an epoxy resin and which provides both flotation and structural support for the vehicle, according to the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, which now operates the vessel. The carbon fiber structure of Titan did offer lighter weight. The Deep Sea Challenger displaced about 12 tons and carried a crew of one. Alvin, with a crew of one and two passengers, weighed in at about 17 tons. Titan carried a pilot and four passengers, and only displaced about 10 tons. There are already questions about whether carbon fiber is suitable for ultra-deep dives, or if it has at least been adequately tested for such depths. Where the Titanic sits, for example, the ocean exerts a pressure of 375 atmospheres, or about 5,500 pounds per inch too. Carbon fiber is cheaper than titanium or steel and is extremely strong, but it is largely untested for deep-sea vessels like the Titan, the BBC notes. The Titan differed in other ways. Unlike the spherical shape of the Deep Sea Challenger that distributed pressure equally, the Titan's cylindrical shape meant that some parts of the craft were subject to more pressure than others. At a depth of more than two miles beneath the surface, even a small hull breach would cause an instantaneous implosion. Another issue that will be scrutinized is lack of certification for Titan. Most submersibles are certified by international maritime safety organizations. OceanGate maintained that Titan was so innovative that certification would take too long. Submersibles like Deep Sea Challenger and Alvin are exploration vessels, and therefore a certain amount of risk might be expected.